Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 6.13 from Sadiku book. So the question is find the voltage across the capacitors in the circuit of figure 6.49 under DC conditions. So the keyword here is under DC condition. So we replace the capacitor. So the C becomes open circuit. So we have two capacitor here, C1 and C2. We replace this one by open circuit, and we also replace this one by open circuit. Okay, so now we have this one in DC condition. So we replace that C1 by open circuit, and we replace this C2 by also open circuit. Okay, maybe let's analyze what can we do from here. So this is V1. Uh, maybe let's use this bottommost node here as our ground so we will have v here is equal to zero and then because there is no current that pass through this 50 ohm resistor the voltage here is the same as here but then this the negative polarity is connected to the ground so we will have v2 is the same here okay and then this one, V1 is relative to the ground. So we will have also V1 at this node here, V1. Okay, and then I think we can use another fact that this is 60 volt from the ground. So we will have 60 here. Okay, and I think we can use KCL to solve for V1 and V2. Okay, now maybe let's assume the direction of the current. Here I assume that is going up and then it will continue going to the right. And here I will assume that is going down. Okay, so now I can use KCL at V1. KCL at V1. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. What is the current that goes in? This one here, only one current that goes in. But then by Ohm's law, that current is 0 minus V1. 0 minus V1. And then divided by 40. And then that will equal to V1 minus V2 divided by 10. So we'll have V1 minus V2 divided by 10. Okay, let's multiply both sides by 40. Okay, and on the left hand side, I will have minus V1. And on the right hand side, I will have 4 V1 and then minus 4 V2. Good. Now let's move this to the right hand side. So I will have 5 V1 and then minus 4 V2. All of that will equal to 0. Okay, this is equation number 1. Let's highlight that. Okay, we have two variables. So we need one more KCL. So now let's do another KCL, but this time at V2. KCL at V2. Can KCL say that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out? Good. The only current that goes in is this one. So we will have V1 minus V2 divided by the resistance between them, which is 10. And that will equal to, we will have this one. We'll have V2 minus 60 divided by 20. Okay, good. Now let's multiply both sides by 20. So we will have 2V1 minus 2V2. And then 20 and 20 will cancel each other. So we will have V2 and minus 60. Okay, what can we do from here? I think we can rewrite this as 2v1 minus 
3 V2 and that will equal to minus 60. Okay, this is the second equation. So here is equation number 2. Okay, we have two equation and two variable. I think we can solve this, but our slide is full. Maybe let's erase that first. Okay, we have two equation with two variables. You can use substitutions, eliminations, Gaussian eliminations, or inverse matrix. You can use anything, but I think the fastest way to do it is just by just plugging in plugging it into calculator because usually in the exam you can you are allowed to use calculator right so why don't just use it as much as possible so we'll have the equation solver here two variables is number one and then we can plug that five and then minus four and then zero good so the second equation we will have two then minus 3 and then minus 60 okay so we will have p1 is 34.29 okay so we'll have p1 that equal is what what was that 34.285 34.285 and the unit is volt and then what is V2? V2 is 42.857 42.857 and again the unit is also volt Okay, and I think that is the voltage across the capacitor in DC condition. So this is V1, which is the voltage across capacitor V1 here. And this is V2, which is the value across this capacitor here. Hopefully, I did not make any mistakes during my calculation. Yeah, hopefully. Let me know if I did in the comments. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.